I know I'm a little bit late on this, but we finally got Veronica. If you don't know when we got Veronica, it was actually live on stream like two or three days ago whenever the update just went live. Some very generous viewers decided that they wanted to donate and help your boy OPL, and they wanted me to summon, so I said I did. So I summoned and yeah we got veronica we actually pulled two copies of her but of course i didn't use the other one i just fused it into her and we have veronica now i really want to test out veronica because i've been wanting to test out this unit for a long time since she's an attacker that has practically everything you would want with her true art she's giving herself damage crit rate and increased damage to enemies by 30 percent this is the same debuff that actually mako applies on the normal art right here. Increase damage to enemies by 30%, but she doesn't reduce the enemy's action speed. Mako still does that. So, you know, there is a benefit to it. And she does this with her true art. And I was very curious how much damage she would actually deal. She has a really good modifier. She has really good base stats, to be honest. 2800 is relatively, I want to say, a little bit on the high side, not extremely high. She has around 4k attack. If we had a level four attack up crest on her, she would be at like 4750 pretty much, or 4752 not factoring in the Tasma attack, once you factor in that, she would definitely be over 5,000 attack. The only buff that she doesn't have is like an attack up buff because she has crit damage built into her kit, as you see here with Fatal Blow. She has Fatal Blow 50% up, and if you have her true weapon on her, which I do, she also is able to obtain 30% critical damage up, and 40% skill CT down with her passive, but if you actually use the skill on her true weapon as well, she's gonna be getting another 60% in total. And this is the team that I actually made for her to try her out. The reason why Juno is here is so people be like, oh my god, you're using two damage doers. Listen, listen. Juno is here for Arch Gen, okay? That's it. Emilia is here because she actually is able to stack up extra crit damage based on the passive it's 50 percent damage up you can't ultimate freeze like every boss every boss really doesn't give you like that opportunity to and i definitely can't ultimate freeze every boss because you know why i don't have a single freeze resist down equip just go buy one from the true weapon shop let me ask you something how do you think i got veronica's true weapon hmm you see that right there i didn't summon anything baby we bought that thing and I knew I needed a freeze resist down equip. I knew. Trust me. I knew the repercussions. I knew the consequences. But I said no. So if we go into, not the Crest Palace yet, but if we actually go into the training over here, I want to show you guys just how crazy the damage actually is. And we're going to pop Mako Showtime again. We're just going to wait here. I would actually use, in, you know, legitimate play, I would use Juno's true art, but there's no reason for me to do it at all. So here we go. We're going to pop the Forest of Ice. We're going to pop this, and we're going to hope to God that... It freezes. Okay, I did get the ultimate freeze. And as you see here, she's hitting for what? 99k per hit. I didn't actually use the magic resist down equip from True Testament. So I guess I need to kind of redo it to an extent. I completely forgot to. I thought I pressed it, but I didn't. Which I may just redo this and see exactly how much damage she could deal. But she could definitely hit for over 100k. As you see here, she's hitting for 120k per hit. That was without like Diorg's true weapon buff. So let's see what it is whenever we actually have the magic resist down from Gino's true weapon. Okay, so here we go. We're going to pop this. We're going to pop that. And we're going to pop all of our equips. And let's see. As you see here, she's hitting for 121,000 per swing. She swings quite a bit, man. She really does. There may be even a better setup you can do on global in terms of the damage that you could deal. But I don't actually know exactly what setup that would be. I'm trying to think of one. Like maybe if you use Santa Rimuru because Santa Rimuru does have that water damage up, the magic damage up. I mean, just for any magic unit in general, Santa Rimuru is probably the best support to use. Just because all the extra damage that he's able to deal and everything else. Like, it's just gonna be insane. And yeah, she is actually dealing technically more damage than Juno. She's dealing 112 per hit once she has all of her buffs on. And Juno's only dealing like 102,000. So definitely pretty impressive there. I know people actually use her in nukes. But I don't really like using a unit like Veronica in nukes. And the reason why is because she has multi-hits. It's like nukers have like really strong heavy hits. Because we may try to nuke something today. Like for example, Shrine Discordia. I may make a water nuke team real quick and see how well we do. Because I don't actually know if Veronica is considered human. And she is actually considered human. So she will actually get somewhat of a benefit from having Forte on the team. So we may make a nuke team real quick and see if that will work and this section we're going to use i know people are going to be like chrono why are you using chrono and it's just because i'm going to see if veronica can pretty much do this by herself everybody else is here just for more damage up as you can see with like the entire team i don't know, we may actually have to go letter bag just so we got extra tt and everything but let's see what happens man we'll see if everything goes right here let's just uh see and we actually did not get the freezers down and Oh my gosh, she's not going to be able to do it by herself. Unfortunate. 
to be honest, I actually think that if we get the freeze to go off with Emilia, it may work. But I think I'm actually going to switch Chrono out for a letter bag just so everybody else can have a little bit more damage because the crits. But of course, if we get the ultimate freeze to go off, then I think we'll be fine. And is there a cap on crit damage up because we have a ton right now so you guys would have to let me know in the comment section because a part of me wants to say there is one but then a part of me wants to say there's not one let's see if she can get the freeze off right here and no freeze unfortunate but we are hitting a little bit harder we could actually use uh rosetta if i had her but i don't have rosetta let's see what happens here we're gonna pop the art as well and see if we get anything to go off oh we did get the ultimate freeze to go off is this gonna be the kill is this gonna be it veronica oh my god the damage what insanity of course other units can do that probably a little bit faster but hey just wanted to show it and that was just her in a nuking setup she could definitely be used as just a regular attacker as well i mean you guys saw it earlier we actually was talking about using her i'm very curious to actually see if she can take on this fight this is the ultra relic fight i'm not for sure if she can this is a heavily defensive team but it might work it might not kind of feeling that it's not gonna work especially because we have to get the freeze to go off and it's very likely, as you see here, the freeze will not go off. So it's still just like, come on, man. Can we get the freeze to go off here? Maybe? Possibly? Maybe? Oh, and we got, we got, okay. Okay, then. I, I see how this game's going to be right now. It's just not even going to let me have any fun. This is what I've grown accustomed to in Grand Summoners, to be honest. I really wish I had a freeze resist down to quit, but like I said, bro, OP's kind of stupid. And you know, whenever it's like, hey, you should probably pick the most optimal thing for your team. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Why would I do that whenever I can get big damage with the girl Veronica? You know what I'm saying? Why would I do that? See, the only thing I'm worried about is that she'll kill herself here because she actually reflects 2% of the damage she deals. Maybe she'll be fine. Hopefully. And we didn't get a freeze, which is very unfortunate. I don't actually know if this Chuart is going to be the one that kills us. Okay, no, it's not. I don't think he's enraged at the moment. Or is he? I, I can't tell. Okay, he is enraged. We do need to freeze him. Oh, please freeze right here, because if not, I think my Veronica might die. Oh, no. Veronica, bro, don't die on me. Oh, my God, the man's flying. Come on, let's see if we can get a freeze to go off. Come on, baby. I need something here. Oh, my God. What is the Ice Witch doing? You have freeze resist built down. You have freeze resist down built into your kit. Let's see, we're gonna have a, a true art coming off here. Maybe we can get something. We didn't even get a freeze with the true art. Are you serious? We're gonna die because of this. Oh my god, dude. I hate the ice switch so much. And you know what? There's gonna be like 30 people commenting in the comments. Like, why don't you just use an ice equip? Because they skip around the video. They don't watch the whole thing. And it's like, dude, most of the time, whenever you put something like that in the comments, more than likely, I already answered it. Because I don't have one. <laughs> We got a freeze off there looking good, looking good. Whenever he's not enraged, he's really not too scary. He does like pretty much, you know, okay damage. But whenever he's enraged, dude, this guy is uh, is definitely a beast. Freeze this down again. Let's see if we can get the freeze to go off. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, like, dude, oh my God. It'd be a lot better if I actually had the equip. But as you see here, I mean, it did take a few tries. It wouldn't actually have took a few tries if we had a freeze this down equip because it would just work first try. Veronica can do it. It just took a little bit. <laughs> So yeah, overall, I'm really happy with Veronica. I really want to use her in like other things. I know people have used her against Ganon, but Ganon's actually not here and I accidentally click redeploy. Or else I would try her in Ganon too, but she definitely works for this. If you, if you have better freeze resist down equips than me, then more than likely you can do this pretty easily with Veronica. But hey, overall, Veronica, really cool unit. Um, I don't know what I'm going to title this video because I don't really think this was really a showcase. But yeah, she does the big deeps. I'm going to try to use her in Minds when they come back and see how well she does in there too. But hey man, thank you all for coming out. It's been your boy OP. Tell me down below if you enjoyed the video or not. Also leave a like if you did. And uh, yeah, last but not least, man, you guys already know. Don't forget to drink water.